will return okay the well this is this is what After I've used messages. here we go Thursday. I'm starting to record this man um, with hopefully it'll be able to record these both at the same time across the savvy quest. John Wayne and Jeffrey Hunter. Do, 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 do. Let's turn that. Let's turn that down. Okay. Um, this is how I actually do the recording. I am using a. Uh, here, let's turn this down too, so you don't hear that too loud too. I'm using a an Elgato um, HD60 Pro card. That's how I'm able to do capture 60 frames per second. I use Game Capture HD to, to capture it instead of using OBS because OBS, well, you know, it's it's really picky about drivers and if, like, I'm using a beta driver for this card because it allows me to, uh, here, let me turn that down all the way, it allows me to use the card for things like um, Hangouts and Skype and anything else that wants to use the video, you know, any sort of video capture card. But their regular drivers, they've, for some reason, purposely blocked it so the only two programs that can use it are OBS and Game Capture HD. So, I use, uh, I use Game Capture HD uh, because OBS will just crash if I hook anything other than my camera up. So if I hook up, uh, you know, the cable box to it, it crashes. If I hook uh, this up to it, it crashes. And, of course, OBS, you know, crashes in such a lovely way that you, you can't even remove the process. Uh, you have to restart your computer. You can't actually stop the process in the task manager. And the people at OBS think that's not a problem. They say, well, no, it's a problem with your, your, your driver. I'm like, yeah, but your program shouldn't stay running in the background even when you try, you know, it, it shouldn't become something you can't shut down. That's kind of, that should be on your end, but they, they don't think so. So whatever. So I use Game Capture HD, and uh, as soon as this is done recording, I'm going to just kind of show you some of the, the steps that I go through when I, uh, you know, do remastering and such on this. So... <clears throat> kind of a longer uh, commercial set, isn't this? So, uh, some of the things that I do is, uh, depending on the way that the footage looks, I will fix the black levels. Um, this one doesn't look like I'm having to, f to fix anything. Um, that looked pretty dark. Um, and uh, then I go through, and when, when VCRs, uh, well, VHS tapes, I should say, the way they degrade in time, there's a certain amount of uh, hue shifting that happens. And it, it tilts towards, you know, making yellows greenish, like we see right here. Um, see, his shirt shouldn't be that, that greenish yellow, and his face shouldn't be greenish. And that's just kind of what happens to the tint, it, the, 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 the hue. It, it all shifts over a little bit, so I fix that. And then I do some more uh, fixing of that sort of thing. Uh, with uh, Lumetri color options, where you can, it's, it's, uh, they, they have an extensive color correcting uh, set of options on uh, Premiere. Ah, here we go. So we, we've got this. I'm going to stop this in a moment. There we go. So now we have that footage, and I'm going to hit stop here. All right, I'm going to exit this. And now I'm going to load Premiere. All right. <clears throat> New project, and it ends up that this was, it wasn't from 1984. The, the show, the, the, the program was originally from 1984, but this was from 1990 is when they uh, they had, had rebroadcast it. Um, uh, what was the name of that again? It's... Uh, okay. Uh, assorted breaks during rebroadcast of Master of the Game. 
All right. <clears throat> so let's start the importing here. And do do do. All right. So we got this here. Let's 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 put this into here. And there are two screens, and I don't really know of a way of being able to capture both of them. So some of this stuff you won't exactly be able to see. So, um, <clears throat> but that's all right. Uh, this one, the, the part on the left is it's not what's important. So I'm gonna go uh, get rid of uniform scale, make scale with 75% uh, instead of 100, so that's correct. I'm gonna do what I did in the other video, change this to 960, not 964, 960, and yes, <clears throat> and now that's all set up. So, okay, let's just even look at this image right here. <clears throat> um, let's 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 look. Let's, 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 let's look through all of this to see if there's. Okay, yeah, that's. I could probably adjust the black level on some parts of this, but let's. Let's fix uh, this part first. So let's go to, <clears throat> okay, color. We've got color balance, HLS. Let me bring this over to here. And we're gonna adjust the hue so it's not quite as, as you know. I mean, you don't go extreme, you know, but. Now that should be good right there. Let's Let's check out other things here. Is the uh, how is the yeah the red isn't too bad that's not bad now there it looks bad now see here is where some of this problem comes into place because when you change the hue let's let's go back to zero <clears throat> well it's not too bad but uh, that needs to be changed a little bit so let's go to well let's yeah let's go to Lumetri color and first off I'm gonna go to curves and I'm going to uh, cut back a little bit on some of the red so I'm gonna do this and just turn down the red in general just a little bit Now I'm going to go to HSL secondary, and I'm going to find this color. And make it slightly different than, than that is, but we need to add more to it. So I'm going to keep adding more. go. Now this might negatively affect some other. Okay. That's certainly helping. Let's try this one here. All right, that's helping a little bit. And right there. And let's see if I can add more of this purpley to it here. Okay. So we've got this, these differences. Uh, let's add a little bit of the green to it too. Not too much or it'll, there we go. That helps a little bit. And hopefully that hasn't changed some other areas. Let me, let me, let me turn this off versus on. Yeah, that helps a little bit. And you know, that's still not, I don't think that's a good enough of a, of a change. Let's see. Uh, he looks okay. He doesn't, his skin isn't too bad. Let's, let's try negative 14 though. Negative 14. Okay. Negative 15. Let's just do it by hand and uh, see here. Wow. Negative 22. Really? Okay. Negative 19. Okay. Now let's go back to that this here. So negative 19, compare it to zero. Hmm, negative 19. Uh, yeah, well. 
Hmm. That's not perfect, but it certainly has... Uh, see, and that looks all right. But you know, I uh, the 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 greenish color that's there. Sometimes you'll notice differences even within the same broadcast. And some of this is because on old school CRT televisions, um, there were a lot of variances. And when people, I mean, there was a period of time in the was it the the, the early seventies, um, or was it the mid seventies? They had tried to do something that they called like color track, and it was something where they tried to have the televisions adjust the color, like the tint and the saturation, what they called color, um, automatically based off of a signal that's sent out from the station. Well, problem with that is e even that, you know, had a, some variance because, you know, you can adjust the, the color on the knobs that they had on the front of the television. But if some of the other adjustments that you can't get through just the front were out of whack, um, you'd have to adjust the ones on the front slightly differently to make up for it. Now, I was the person to, you know, I want to take off the back and adjust the upper and lower cutoffs. What I mean by upper and lower cutoffs is things that were dark, you know, the red, green, blue values of things that are dark and the red, green, blue values of things that are light. So. You want to make it so if you have something that's supposed to be gray on the screen, that you get a good, as as close to a perfect as a grayscale as you can. And then there's focus, and there are a few other things. I mean, you could even adjust the rings if you wanted to, if you if you knew what you were doing, and uh, that has to that would adjust convergence. And convergence is sort of like where you'll see red on the, on the right side of everything and blue on the opposite side of everything or purple and green or you know that sort of thing and you could uh, adjust that so they're all together or if you wanted to make it messed up looking adjust it so it, it looks all out of whack but um but because there were so many variants uh, even on screens that were adjusted properly there were so many variants. It was it would be hard for the studios at that time to tell what you know what color is really the right uh, balance. So they would have all these variants between different things within the same broadcast. So anyway, uh, video cassettes de when they degrade. Um, they have that that uh, hue shift, and I like to correct that, and I like to try to make it look as close to the original broadcast as possible, and if not, uh, look even a little bit better as far as the color. I would now when I do this sort of thing with the color, there is a somewhat of a degradation. There is a little bit of color information that gets lost, but. I would prefer there to be a little bit of color information that gets lost, but the colors that are there still look all right, than to have the whole color just look all fucked up. So, now what I sometimes do, you know, on the, let's say if I go back to the beginning, we had this, this footage like this, I would sometimes come in and do basic correction, and if this is what the entire broadcast looked like, I would do this to it about like that. That's about what I'd make that look like. But it's not that way. Now I can go through and adjust it for each commercial and stuff and that works fine too. Um, there are other methods that I've used to change uh, the hue of things. One of the other ones that I've sometimes done is uh, you know leave the hue regular, right? And Let's see. Yeah, let's go reset. Okay, that's not doing anything now, so I'm going to put this back to zero. I will sometimes go through and go to the skin color. Go to this. And keep adding to it a little bit. And I would add some purple to it. Kind of makes it a little peachish. We got to keep adding more 
of this to it until you know the skin tone is looks all right so I could add this to it but it might be a little too much let's see oh that's still all right keep adding you know and we can take this route but one of the problems I've seen with this route well that one probably wasn't so good was it it wasn't bad either let's go back to that well Anyway, one of the problems with this route is if you run into something that's black and white, there will be some color at some point where, well, it, the, the the grayscale will have a, uh, uh, a color in it. It'll have this, you know, uh, peachish sort of color in it, uh, kind of purplish sort of color in it. Let's see if we can find something that's... Uh... See, notice, see, this, this now looks okay. This didn't have the problem with the red. It's, 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 see, the thing is, I haven't found anyone really trying to fix the color on this sort of thing, and nobody seems to bother with trying to fix the color on any of this. Now, see, on his face, that's still not quite working. That's still not quite right. Now, let's see if we can... Okay. Well, that looks a little funny. But let's keep doing it. All right, so you know we can see that that's <laughs> you know so ju just just enough you know so we got that and it looks like this isn't affecting the grays so this is another way that this can be done but then you still have the issue of yellow not looking right as you can see here you know this is greenish. So, I mean, feasibly, I could add another, a secondary one of these, or we go with the hue thing like I originally did, but now the color that I just adjusted on his face will be wrong. It won't be, uh... Here, let's find him. Where is he? Well, it's still okay. It's almost a little bit too purplish now. Let's see here. So yeah, turn that down a little compared to what it was. And see, that looks that looks okay. You know, I still say that's a little bit... Um, that yellow isn't quite right. It's really hard to, to, to judge this, you know? But uh, this is the type of thing that I'll do to the... Uh, there we go, that's the one I wanted. To try, to try to get this color balanced a little better. Um, try to make it look as good as it can. Um, so, like, what if I do add another... If there's a way to add a second one of these to this. Let's try something. Copy. Paste. And we've got a second one now. All right. And I'm going to go back to uh, to this, and that way I'm going to go to these over here now instead, because it's a second one. And let's go to HLS, and we'll go reset. And now I'm going to focus on these purpley things again. So, okay, where is it? Okay, well, set color, we'll go to this, and wow, okay, temperature and tint, yeah, we need, we need kind of the opposite of that, so. Okay, so let's keep adding more, add color, add color, add color, 
I don't think I have that adjusted enough. So let's Okay, well, it's, it's looking better. It's getting a little bit better. That still looks a little funny because of the, the overall tint adjustment. But, uh, okay, add color. Add color. Add color. And so let's see this now. Let's see how how this is looking. Now this is all right. This is looking all right. Gorton's little fish sticks. Okay. How's that looking? That's a little weird right here, isn't it? Why is that greenish? But you know, I go through and, and try to adjust this for, you know, the whole set of whatever it is that I've uh, I've transferred. Now see here we got we got this problem here again. What's going on here? Curves. It's probably because I still have the other adjusted for that. Okay. Okay, let's look at the rest of this again. Let's go back to that commercial of the, uh, with the, let's see here. Not bad, not bad. I'm going to try something here. Yeah, that's that 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 helped a little bit. That helped a little bit. Let's look at the color time tile thing. Okay. Yeah, see that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think I think I'd settle for that. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. The heck? Okay, I'll have to see what that commercial is actually about. That's kind of a weird one there, but yeah. See, this this looks pretty good. That's all right. So uh, yeah, I've I've uh, I've made that look uh, okay. But I I obsess about making sure either the color is as good as it can be. I, I obsess about. Making sure that, you know, if it's not a hi-fi VHS, that it is, um, that the heads are adjusted. Um, I just like to try to make sure that that's, you know, all decent. I also like to obsess on the frame rate because there are some things that were on television that were in 60 and you never get to see that. I also like, you know, some people might think that uh, my transfers are noisy. And you know what? There is some noise. And that, that noise, you don't see as much when you're not in 60 frames per second. But that noise is part of the medium. And uh, I would prefer to just see everything than to see something kind of covered up. Now, some people might think that I'm covering something up when it comes to doing the color correction, but... I'm trying to make it look more like it did when it was first, you know, recorded. And not from the way the tape has degraded in time. So, anyway, this has been a very, very long video, and it may be very boring for some people, or it might be interesting for some people. But, uh, 
have a good one. And thanks for watching.